We're back, and we have the right colors. Yep. Or at least as approximately close as it we was, could possibly be. It was so be. approximate yeah. to what we were... Take us away, on. number one. Let's finish this. Why am I number one? I don't know. I'm nothing at all You've like Riker. You've been making me watch Star Trek. Yes, but that that's... We're watching DS9, and that's a pun from Next Generation. Doesn't matter. All right. The end is just up ahead. All those trials, all our preparation. It's all come down to this. So, you feel ready? So ready! Or is it so ready? Or does yeah, she. I don't know. I is think she she's excited nervous. or is she scared? Bring it on! Okay. Actually, she's Maybe not scared. Not. I think she's. Yeah. Bring it on! Giant scary corruption! Well. Before you go, we've got to talk about what's going to happen after. I've been giving it a lot of thought, and I think we should destroy the brush. <gasps> the brush connects with the worst part of us and makes them real. It lets us make beautiful things, but it's also carrying the darkness of every past wielder. And at this point, it's a threat to everyone in Picnic. That thing is evil and destroying it is the right thing to do what do you think hmm i like left i like the won't the world lose its color or this fight could fix it yeah this fight could fix it every single wielder has fought corruptions but it still has our imprints in it. If fighting back actually fixed it, then we wouldn't be in this situation. Maybe the problem will seem to go away for a bit, but then it'll come back, probably even worse. That's why I wanted to bring this up now. It tricks us into thinking everything's okay, but it's the root of all the corruptions. And I bet the only way to get rid of them is to annihilate the source. What do you think? Won't the world lose its color? Eventually, yeah. Everything would go black and white again. And there'd be no way to fill it back. It, I'm not stoked about that either. But if we keep it around, people will get really hurt because of it. We have to decide if that's worth the risk. Would it be so bad to stay black and white? If it meant everyone was safe? What do you think? But it's been around for so long. Who cares about how long it's been around? That doesn't make it any less evil. It just means that we've been more trained to accept it without questioning why. Screw that. That's not a way to make decisions. If it's hurting us, we should question why it's here. And it's just not that. After everything the brush has done to me, I want it gone. What do you think? Uh... I don't think destroying it would help, though. The thing is... There's no guarantee that this darkness... Isn't a product of just... Multiple other things. Whereas the brush is the way to beat the darkness. Yeah. Because like... the, the thing is... And I suppose it's the thing with art and such. If this is really looping back to art. You know how there's always the trope of the, the suffering artists not necessarily yeah. the starving artists but that artists are constantly either anxious or in like personal turmoil or that they have perf performance anxiety and they're very self-critical and have doubts and all these other things mm -hmm. and the thing is if you if you just take that away, yes, it might solve the problem. It might solve all the discomfort, but then you wouldn't be creating. Yep. 
And I know that I've had to deal with this lately because, yeah, I've been really... I, I have no intention to post my art for a while and I have been learning to love to make it again, but it's one of those things where I, I was hurt so bad by the internet that, you know, just misappropriating and using my work mm -hmm. without any kind of compensation or acknowledgement. It was just, why make it? And that's something that I've struggled with. And it's one of those things where I, it would be such a shame to have worked so hard and to have had all those dreams and aspirations and to just give it up. Mm -hmm. And, you know, oh, you know, art creates so much strife and suffering, but what about all the beauty it creates too? And would you be willing to live in a world without art? Or, I don't know. I don't know if this is necessarily the message. What are you looking at? I was looking at a thing. Uh, not exactly in the same vein. There was a, a thread back and forth about game design people yelling about how it's easy. That one's been stuck in my head. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyway. I still think we shouldn't. Yeah. I, it's interesting. This feels like one of those trick questions where you if you want to be selfless then you know maybe you destroy it but it doesn't seem right and oh if you do that we shouldn't then you're just being selfish right and then chicory will go it's just using you and controlling you it's holding on to its power and you know what i'm getting at mm -hmm. i think she'll be angry with us if we save Probably. this but the thing is i Uh, the other thing, too, that she brought up was the, do you risk, you know, everyone's safety to, I, to keep it? But I, think of all the joy that yeah, it brings all the I people. I feel like, it, and it's still an equal risk to some degree of, we still don't know if this corruption truly is sourced with the brush or just connected to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, still think we shouldn't. It doesn't feel right. Even if it is dangerous, destroying it just can't be the right answer. Not long ago, I would have agreed with you. But I don't see another way now. You should be careful. Don't let that thing inside your head. You've still got a battle to get through. Good luck, Curry. Actually, there's... Something I've been wanting to ask you. Oh? What is it? Um, um, never mind. I I'll ask you afterward. I should focus on the battle for now. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's so frustrating. Curry, that means you better come back. I mean, I know you will. You've got this. Everyone came to lunch and to cheer for you. I promise, I'll make you proud. But seriously, you're gonna leave me hanging like that? What were you going to ask? So sorry, it's just not a good time. Do you think she's gonna ask Chicory out on a date or something? Possibly, probably. Or, you know, one of those things. Or to be best friends, or to hang yeah. out some more. Or maybe to make art together. Yeah. Something like that. Hmm. Well, you better not forget what it was. I won't. I'll do my best up there. Thanks for all your help, Chicory. Sure. Okay, and good luck, Curry. I taught you everything I could. And you've come so far. We're so close to the end now. Just one last push. Yep, and there's the chicory painting. Ah, <laughs> oh, it looks hideous. What are you doing color-wise? Uh, 
don't know. Just felt weird to have a blank wall. Look at my mess. self portrait. It's so cute. Mm-hmm. Okay. On we go. Up the tower. Into this. Look, is that a big eyeball in the middle? Maybe. Yes. Oh, there's multiple eyeballs. Take us in. Yep. Spooky. Spooky, scary. Or creature. Oh, our brush is gray. Um, There's not even color here. Hello? I think you just go until she says more. I just mm -hmm. go straight up. I wouldn't even think about it. Oh. Why is it so big in here? And we can paint things in gray. But then they go back to being black and white. Look at the faces. Oh. I don't know if any of them... Hey, is that the edge of the map? Please don't do that anymore. Because it just... It just spreads out in a wave. Yep. And can muddle things. Ah! I wish I wasn't so nervous. Everyone's counting on me. Especially Chicory. I need to rise up to this. But... Yeah, look, there's a... I just there's a whiteness, yeah. At the edges. Wait, is that does that guy have something in his mouth? No, it's just he's layered on top of one oh, of the Oh, on top of snakes. one of the weird plants. Just keep going up. Let's go up, Shell. She's getting slower and slower. Yeah. So every time we hit a screen transition it changes. Why? I'm still so nervous talking to Chicory. I should have said something. But I guess I'm most worried about letting her down. She needs me to be ready for this. And I know the trials were supposed to make me a real wielder, but even after everything, I don't feel different at all. <gasps> Maybe it's because... Oh. You're not... You're not real! No, I'm not. But it's still true. I... I've been afraid to ask her. But I, I need to know. Why did Chicory choose me to be the wielder? Did she really think, at the time, it was a good idea? <laughs> You're asking her shadow. You already know the answer, don't you? She didn't. I... I know she really didn't. Everything happened by accident. I just got the brush because I happened to be there. Part of me still hoped that... I really was special. And I just hadn't figured out why, how yet. But Curry, you are special. I know that's what she's really she'd really say, but it feels just as real coming from you. <laughs> Why? I 
that all I ever wanted was for her to believe in me. But even if she does, I still feel like a nobody. Wow. This is a piss poor time to have a crisis of faith. Mm-hmm. It's because there's nothing you can do or anyone can say to change what you really are. Well, I can't even move. <gasps> oh, I'm trapped. You don't deserve this brush. Never have. Never will. Don't you think it's time? You gave it back. My cursor is gone. I'm dead. Oh. Oh, you're awake. Huh? Curry, are you okay? Um, we aren't sure what happened. We found you outside the tower, passed out. You must have been through so much. I'm so sorry, sweetie. Can you walk? I just... How, how stupid do you have to be to go into the tower with that just, like, hanging over your head? And it's like... Man, this thing really does just feed off of, like, uh, you know, traumas and insecurities and doubts. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, let's just pretend I don't have any of those. Well, that's the thing. Aren't artists and celebrities supposed to put on a facade of perfect? Well, yeah, but, perfect... like, even then, like, yeah, they're supposed to. But in this specific situation, if you know it's all going to come out, like, you don't go in uh, unprepared. Uh, mm hmm So she should have asked Chicory then and there. Yeah. But would the truth have hurt? Yeah. That's like going in for a play and you're not sure what your lines were anymore. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, you haven't gotten over your stage fright. And it's like there was months of production, production presumably, to prep you for this. And to never even, like, try and talk to anybody about it is just like frankly uh the height of arrogance almost i don't know anyway oh hey buddy hey clementine are you gonna be okay i don't know i'm so sorry curry maybe it was all too much uh it's totally up to to you what you want to do, okay? If you want to stop now and let everyone else figure out what happens next, that's okay. You already gave up so much. Or gave so much. Hey, kiddo. Uh, sorry about whatever happened. We all mess up sometimes, you know? It's okay, though. Promise. Your mom and I still love you no matter what. Believe me, your old man screwed up plenty of times. Man, I remember back when I tried making holies without holes. No one cared. <laughs> More times than I can remember. Huh. That's just part of life, right? No big deal. I didn't mean to sit. Talk to mom. Oh, good. I'm, I'm so glad that you can at least move. Curry, we were all so worried about you. Um, and, well, we don't know where your brush is. Or the brushes, do you? I think that's worrying everyone quite a bit, too. It, it's... Uh, it's okay, sweetie. You don't need to say right now if you don't want to. Take your time and rest here. But when you're ready, maybe you should go back to luncheon. Everyone is looking for the brush there, including Chicory. It might be good to speak with her. Thanks. It's okay, Curry. Whatever happened, I know you did your best. We all know that. We've really been asking so much of you. Too much. Too much. I love you, Curry. No matter what. Okay? 
You don't have to talk to me now. But when you're ready, you can. Maybe some fresh air will be nice. No, no, no. Bench. Yeah, I know we can oh, use the transit bench. Because we can't... Walking back, I don't even know if we can. There's a note on the bench. It says, due to seemingly apocalyptic circumstances, we have had to temporarily yeah, halt the then. transit service. We hope to have renewed service soon. We apologize for the inconvenience. The picnic transit team. Yep, I knew it. I mean, we just we just walk over. Just thought there was stuff in the way. There's no music at all. Uh, you can't use your power, can you? No. I hear you getting through those trees. Yeah, you're right. What other way is there? Let's see. I think you gotta go through the cave? Well, there's the lost kid daycare. You can go... Bell? Here? Essie? Um, I think we gotta cut through Nubal Tunnel. Oh, Curry, I thought you might- I might find you here. Everyone's looking for the brush, but, well, I was just getting in the way, so I came to check on you instead. You don't have- have a way back to luncheon, do you? I can help. Maybe on the screen, left and two down from here. Well, never mind. There's our answer. Mm-hmm. One left. And one. And two down. Oh, yeah, it's that weird house. Where we made the logo. Mm-hmm. You made it. Well, here goes. She just doesn't come back. I, I'm actually a fairly adept swimmer. I can take you across the river here, if you want. Oh. Okay. Hang on. It's just one thing that bugs me. Mm -hmm. I think out of so many things, is the desire to be special. Mm-hmm. Well... Oh, her color switched. Yep. You. Yeah. You could head up from here to get to luncheon. I hope. I was helpful. Usually I just feel like an annoyance. But I really appreciate what you've done, Curry. I think everyone does. We all know you did your best. E everyone was just hoping that you'd come back all right. Well, I'll be here. Oh. I know it's never been easy for you, but the fact that you keep trying anyway, it inspires me. I want to learn to do that too. But, oh, I guess you've just got tons of characters to talk to. Oh, hey. Are you doing all right? You don't look so good. Well, nothing looks good right about now. Kind of feels like we all might die. <laughs> Lol. Uh, but sorry about whatever happened. We're all just doing our best, you know? I hope things get better. I genuinely do. Yay! I came out here looking for the brush, although, to be honest, I was pretty sure I wasn't actually here. I just wanted to get out of luncheon. It's really hacked up in there. Are you going back in? Yowza! You do you, I guess. Oh, thank goodness you're okay. We 
can't find the brush anywhere. There's such a strange lingering feeling like something fundamental is broken. It's hard to describe. Well, you must be worried enough as it is. We're here for you, Curry. Oi! I've been cutting down all the little trees around here. Usually Beans Kate uh, takes uh, takes care of stuff like that, but she's been busy lately with kid problems. Nice to finally get around luncheon easier though, ain't it? We're all trying to do our part to help out right now. You doing okay, Curry? Nobody's really sure what happened yet. We're all just trying to figure it out together. Don't push it. Hurry, we've been looking around for you everywhere. Glad that you're okay, at least kinda. I tried to explain to the kids what was going on. I'm not sure they all understood, but they're all rooting for you too. Her Curry, are you all right? Everyone's been worried sick about you. Be careful, okay? You don't have to do anything crazy for us. So do I go up? up. Yeah, left and up. Everything is in ruins now. But you'll fix it, right? Uh, I'm sorry, Curry. I just don't know what to do. But I suppose you don't either. Ah. I know I can be a little much sometimes. I'm sorry. Oh, he's a beaver. That's mm -hmm. what he is. It's such a relief to see you. Chicory is just ahead from here. She's been beside herself with worry. There you are. After you went in there. We found you unconscious. Outside, no brush in sight. You really spooked us. Especially Chicory. We didn't know when you'd wake up. Or if you would. But your folks must have been so relieved. Hey. Oh. So sorry, Chicory. I messed everything up. The brush, it's gone. There's no way to fix this anymore. It's okay. I mean, no, it's it's not. But I'm glad that you're okay at least. Can I ask you something? Back when you first gave me the brush, did you really think it was a good idea? Did you really choose me? No. I just wanted to be free of it. The pressure, I mean. But also, the whole institution. Having to choose. Having to answer to the legacy of old dead artists. Having to do or be anything. I needed to knock off all... All that stuff down for myself. But... Oh, so you resented that legacy. Did you choose me? Because I was a bad choice? Is that all I mean to you? When I said that you could take the brush, you were already holding it. You had already taken it and colored and... Faced a corruption and made it back. You are a living example that you don't have to be chosen to be capable. You showed me a possibility I hadn't considered. And you've only come farther since then. You shouldn't need to hear why that you why do you deserved it. You already proved it to yourself or proved it yourself a million times. But maybe you're missing the most important thing. What's that? Actually wanting it. I know you wanted to do it for me, but... Was it something you wanted for yourself? I never even asked. Just forced it onto you. So I'm asking now. 
Did you want the brush? I did. I... I... I really, really did. I've always wanted to make a mark on the world. I want to be someone great like that. But I never felt like I was ready. You're the first person to ever give me the chance. And I... I let it slip through my fingers. I feel so horrible. But I wanted it. And now that it's gone, it's like a part of me is missing. I can almost feel it. Like it's still there, right? I remember that. After being so connected to it. Like I couldn't get rid of it completely. No. It... It really feels like it's still there. Like I could just... Try drawing. Just one more time. Try drawing. No. Yeah? You, you have to right trigger. I... I guess I'm just holding right trigger. It seems to be doing the trick. So what are we doing with this? We're growing another brush tree. I know we're growing another brush tree, but... The heart of luncheon. <laughs> it's kind of horrifying to watch, honestly. It looks tortured. Like, I feel bad for it more than anything. Like, this... Like, I know it's supposed to be triumphant, but, like, this looks awful. I remember what puberty was like. It was uncomfortable. <laughs> this is just, like, turbo tree puberty. Like, look at it. It's all knobbly in bits. Like, every once in a while, it kind of goes crunch. Are we choosing the way it grows? Or was it always supposed to grow like that? You made a brand new brush. What the heck? How did you... That's... Possible? I remembered how it felt and... I guess that brought it back. But that's not the same brush. That's your brush. Maybe, for the first wielder, it was kind of the same. I... I knew what I wanted, and how it felt. Like a muscle I'd never known to use before. But once I did, it was there. That's incredible. Does that... does this mean... I could try again? My voice is starting to go, but... We're right at the end. What do you think? Can everyone just create a brush tree? I mean, probably if they had, if they knew. If maybe all of the wielders that currently exist? Maybe. If they believed strong enough, had the force of will, and probably some other qualifications. Mm hmm. I can face that corruption one more time. I can still make everything right. I can do it. Curry. Yeah, you can do it. Go and show him. Now, predictive twist. Hmm? Uh, Chicory shows up with her own brush. Uh, and helps save the day. Maybe. I can't believe it's real. Just like the one in the rainforest. I never even considered that you could make another. When did you get so... I... I thought I was supposed to be the teacher. <laughs> I feel so left behind. When things got hard for me, I just gave up. But you picked right back up and kept going. I should be the one looking up to you, Curry. I don't know if that's really fair to you, but you definitely shouldn't look up to me. I still don't really know what I'm doing. After everything that we've been through, have I left the impression that I do either? 
If someone thinks that they know what they're doing, you should honestly probably avoid them. <laughs> when I trained to be a wielder, I was told, and all I thought about was that I wasn't allowed, what wasn't allowed or possible. But you don't fit the wielder model at all. You're someone who's changing all the rules as you go. And I think it's about time that they change too. You got this. If that huge corruption took the brush, then I bet it's still in there. It knew that we were planning to destroy it. So it's probably hiding, consolidating its power. But it might not be ready to wander. <laughs> I'm trying to paint those flowers. I know. Ready to fight another brush. That's the only shot that we've got now. You've already done a million things nobody thought possible, so I think you can do it. Good luck, Curry. Ooh. Just individually painting flowers. There's only so many. Oops. That'll do. It's so easy to miss and repaint the tree. 